guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a birthday haul because today is my birthday and I did a lot of shopping. Does anybody else just wait for their birthday every year so that they can go everywhere and get all of the free things because that was one of my major goals for today and I'd have to say I did pretty good. So the first place I actually went was Starbucks because if you have the little app thing and it's your birthday, you can get a free drink. So I got that and then I went across the street to Ulta to get my free gift there and I actually did really good there so I'm going to show you everything got everything I got at Ulta. <laughs> okay so the free birthday gift this year is the IT Cosmetics Superhero Mascara and it's a little mini version of that. Actually, oh, is it in here? Here is the little tiny mini bottle and it is flippin adorable and I actually have it on today. Um, it has, hold on, it has this wand on it and it's like a, it's not like a rubber or plastic bristle, it's like a regular bristle but it's shaped different. I don't know if anyone else has this problem but the first time I use a mascara it doesn't usually go all that well, but I will say that I did kind of put two coats on, but the first coat of this, like, it made my lashes look so much longer. It was kind of crazy, but it didn't make them look fuller or anything, but definitely super lengthening, and it's got all kinds of, like, s stuff in it, like biotin and whatnot, so I'm going to be using this more to see how I like it. I got two other free things while I was there. I had a 20% off coupon, but because of what I wanted to apply it to wouldn't work, they had me um, sign up for their Ulta like credit card thing. Um, I didn't actually end up getting it, but she gave me the... I think these are... you get these when you sign up for the credit card, I think. I'm not really sure why I got these, but I got this Shiseido... I don't know how to say this, Benefiance. It's extra creamy cleansing foam. And it's just this little tube. Sorry, it's really bright. And does it say how much is in it? 30 milliliters. So it's a pretty good sized tube. I'm excited to try that. I've never had anything Shiseido before. And I also got this Too Faced Hangover. And I don't, is it just called Hangover or is it called Hangover RX? I don't know, but it's a replenishing face primer, and there's a little tube in here. I haven't opened it yet. I'll open it for you. Little tiny tube. So I don't know if this was because... It might not have been because of the credit card. It might have been because um, this year I'm a Platinum Rewards member. So maybe if you're Platinum, you get like the extra stuff, so maybe that's what it was. And because it's Breast Cancer Awareness Month, they have um, different items that I believe it said 50% of the retail price goes to the, what is it called, BCRF, Breast Cancer Research Foundation, I think that's what it is. And they had some cute stuff and you can like get your hair cut and styled or get um, like a facial or something. But I got this, which I'll unwrap for you because it's super noisy. It's really cute. They had some that were already unwrapped, but it's this little keychain so it's got little silver lips on it and this faux leather pink tassel and then this darker pink heart that's also like a faux leather so I thought this was really cute and it's a bunch of stuff that's like five dollars so I guess 250 of it will go towards the foundation hold on I'm cooking potatoes and they're overflowing all right I'm back I had a lid on them and that usually makes the condensation overflowiness happened, so I just took the lid off. <laughs> oh, I also got this uh, Philosophy Purity 3-in-1 Cleanser for Face and Eyes packet thing, which was also one of those free things. The only thing I actually bought was um, Ariana Grande's new fragrance Moonlight in the Rollerball. And that's actually in my purse, so I'll go get that so you can see it. Okay, so this is what the Rollerball perfume bottle looks like. I don't know if you can tell. Let's see if I can get it closer. Can you see the, like, iridescent? 
it's not in the glass, it's like a sticker over the glass, but it's so pretty. I have, I think, her original fragrance in a body mist, which I got at Walmart. I wear that almost every day. Yeah, it's the Ari by Ariana Grande. But I saw this, and the bottle for the, like, actual perf- like, the spray-on perfume is really pretty, too. It has her little puff thing that she always does. Um, <laughs> so I had $11 in points. So I think this was $20. I had $11 in points. And I had... This is what I was going to use the 20% off coupon for, but you can't use it on fragrances, which is dumb. And what else did I do? Uh, I guess I only took $10 off of it. No? What did they do? I don't remember what they did, but I ended up... Because the heart keychain was $5, this was $20, so I would have spent $25, but because I used points and something else, which I, I don't know what it was, maybe they gave me the 20% off anyways because they told me about the credit card and then it didn't work, so I ended up paying $4.33, which my mom was with me, so I actually paid nothing. So I got a $20 rollerball perfume and a $5 keychain for $4.33. Uh, the next place we went is we actually drove to Portland, which is about an hour from where I live, to finally redeem my darn little scent thing that I got for Christmas this last year. Um, and I also got a free birthday thing there because, oh, this is not mine, this is my mom's. She got a little packet thing from a vendor in the mall and she put it in here. So I've been trying to get this. You have to go to an actual Sephora because it came from an actual Sephora, not one from JCPenney's. And I chose the Yves Saint Laurent Black Opium and I haven't actually opened this to look at it yet, so this is exciting. Ooh, this is pretty. The glass is kind of... No, the glass is clear. I guess the perfume is kind of a pink color. Yeah, you can see that. It's, this smells so nice. Actually, is this a rollerball or is it... Oh, no. It's not a rollerball. It actually sprays, so that's cool. This stuff smells really good. I don't know if you've smelled it, but if you haven't, it's, it's so good. It's kind of like musky but sweet at the same time mm, it's so good if you're a person that likes um what do I, I mean if you like the ariana grande stuff you probably like this if you like um the kat von d saint perfume which is my all-time favorite perfume ever in the world and you can't really get it anymore you probably like this too i think this is pretty similar i think this is probably the closest i've come to that perfume it's good it's good stuff so what i got there for there you have like I think they have three or four different options for your free birthday gift and this one appealed to me t the most and it's the um, Tarte Duo and it has a blush and a lip paint. What are the colors called? I think the blush is called Party but it's got like three A's in it. And then what is the lip called? Birthday Suit. It's the Birthday Suit Tardis Creamy Matte Lip Paint. Ooh, that's going to be ex that I'm actually, when I saw this on there, I was like, oh, this is definitely what I'm getting. Because there's like a skincare one, and there's like one with men's stuff. Oh my gosh, these are adorable. So this is the the lip paint, and it it is beautiful. And it's actually like the perfect nude color, and I've been on the search for the perfect nude color. And this is the, oh, did you see that? The little protective sheet just fell out. Oh, this is really light, but it's gorgeous. These might be some favorites. Just telling you now, these might be in a favorites video. I lost that plastic thing somewhere. It went floating away. Get in there, please. And the next place, because one of the last times I went to Clackamas, which is a mall in the Portland area, I saw a sign that said, Lush was coming soon, and I've been wanting to go to a Lush for years. So this is my first experience with Lush, 
and I'm really excited to try these things. <laughs> One of the things that I was really really hoping to find but was pretty sure I wasn't going to be able wasn't oh, I wasn't gonna find it I pretty much knew I wasn't gonna find it was the little orange sparkly pumpkin bath bomb. Uh, I was praying the only way you could get it was in like a combo set thing and I, I didn't want to buy the set I just wanted the one pumpkin so I didn't get that I was kind of disappointed but I'm excited for the things that I did get something that my mom grabbed for me while we were in line was this bath bomb which is really strong smelling but and I'm not gonna be able to tell you what this is I don't remember it's like this pinky purple color it has stars and a moon on it it smells pretty good I have to say that the Lush stuff from watching all of the videos they don't smell like I guess I expected them to smell they smell good but just not in just not in a way I expected I guess is all I can say and I don't know if they're doing a promo or something but they have all these pink bags for breast cancer awareness like this is the bag <laughs> um, so my mom actually bought me that bath bomb because I was already in line to pay for some stuff and she had already bought some stuff and the other thing I got was I haven't seen anyone do a video on this um, I almost got the what is it called snow fairy bubble wand but then I saw this one and I was like, oh, I think I need this one. Especially since it's on a friggin' cinnamon stick. Are you kidding me right now? It's like this orange glittery star. Um, it's got stuff in the middle. I can't remember what that thing is called. It's an actual, like, pl not plant, but you know, like, it related to a cinnamon stick. But it's, I, I couldn't tell you what it is right now. But, and it's got a little jingle bell. I'm so excited. And it, it smells really good. It's like, I think it's Christmas something, like, it might have been called like Christmas time or something like that. I'm gonna link everything below so you can check it out in the description box to see what it's actually called. This is my first time there. I don't have all this experience with Lush things, so I don't remember, but I'm excited to try this. Uh, the last full size product I got was. The Kalamazoo, I got this for Josh, and I was wondering what this what this was supposed to do. I knew that it was like a face slash beard wash, but I really what I really wanted to know was if it was moisturizing because we've been looking for beard specific moisturizing things, and she said that it is moisturizing, so he doesn't know I got this for him. So I'm kind of excited to give that to him. This is the smaller container because I wanted, I just wanted to try it first to see if he liked it. I know that um, Julian Salamita, um, you know, Julian and Jenna, he likes that stuff and Lush actually sent him like a ton of the full size containers. So that's how we found out about it. So I thought I'd grab it while we were there. The last things I have are samples. I got a little chunk of the Coal Face. Actually, I don't know if it, what it's actually called, but it's a cleansing complexion bar. It says for no, normal to oily skin. Maybe it is just called Coal Face. So it's in this little package. I think that's so cool that you can just get like free little samples of things. That's so awesome. And then I got a sample of the Cupcake Mask, which said that it was for oily acne prone skin it's made from like chocolate and stuff and it looked delicious so I'm excited to try this and then I also got the R&B hair moisturizer because the lady that I was talking to about the Kalamazoo said she has her boyfriend also use this R&B hair moisturizer on his beard because it makes it moisturized and soft and shiny and I know that's also something that Josh has been wanting. He's wanted a woo, he wanted a beard oil, but we're gonna see if this if he likes this. I'm not sure. I I only got a sample because I'm not sure he's gonna like the way it smells. I don't know. It's it's kind of florally, so we'll see, but I got that for him. 
the next place that I got something from was Bath and Body Works. I had some coupons that expired soon. I think towards the end of this month. So I wanted to take them in. And um, I got this. Um, they gave me this, which I'll probably end up getting one of these in the mail. But I didn't know that when you get these coupons, these hard coupons that are all attached, that that means they treat this as one coupon. So I had a set of coupons, but it was just three. It was like there was a free item, something that was for $5, and then 20% off your entire purchase. I didn't know that you could use them all together. So that's what I found out today, in case you didn't know that already. So I have... I have these, so that's exciting. Let's see. My free item was this Warm Vanilla Sugar Super Smooth Body Lotion, Shea Butter, and Coconut Oil. I think this is one of the newer things they're doing. Uh, warm Vanilla Sugar is like one of my staple scents there. If I don't know what to get, I get this because I know I love it. I apologize for sounding weird having trouble talking. I've been sick for like a week and it feels like it's relapsing, which is fantastic because I thought today I was feeling better. Um, apparently I did this wrong. Their coupons are not descriptive enough. So I got this for five dollars. It said signature body lotion. Nothing seems to say signature on it anymore. I couldn't find anything that said signature on it, so I just grabbed this, and he said that he would give this to me, but it was supposed to be a body lotion, and this is an Ultra Shea body cream, but whatever. I was like, dude, just, this lotion, it just, just give it to me. I mean, it's like the same price, it doesn't matter. So that was two of the coupons, and then the 20% off went to everything. They were having a buy two, get one free of, like, body care stuff. And then candles, wallflowers, and something else were buy three, get three free. And I really wanted candles, but those candles are $22. So if I'm going to buy candles, I'm going to come in when they're like 50% off or buy one, get one, something like that. Uh, I'm not going to spend $66 to get six candles, though I would love to. I'm not going to do it. Um, me and my mom both got one of these. They're so adorable. Mine says Lucky Me and it's got the gold accents. My mom's has silver and it says Be Happy. Um, I don't really care what it says. I just like that it had the gold on it because I love the gold. And it's adorable and it can hold things. I've never done a wallflower before. I've done um, wall plugins that melt the wax, but I've never had a wallflower. So I found this one, which I thought was so adorable. It's like a bunch of, I mean it's gold, so I'm going to guess it's like wheat, but it, it kind of looks like lavender. So I don't know, but it's got like little twine wrapped around it. And this is so cute. I'm going to put this in the bathroom. I had one of those plug-in wax melters, and it has an on-off switch, but it wouldn't shut off, so I threw it away. So I got this, and then I got, what is it, five different... Um, inserts for it because I had to get three things to get three things free. So we'll just set that right there. Whew, my back hurts. Ugh. I was out and about for like eight hours today. We were at the Clackamas Mall for three hours. And then we spent some time at Target, which I'm going to show you what happened at Target. How am I supposed to open this? How is this wrapped? There's tape. That's how it's wrapped. Oh boy. Okay. Woo. What's in here? Okay. Again, I got warm vanilla sugar because I there was a lot of scents that I just I didn't know what they smelled like. And you can't really smell these, so this is one of the last ones I picked because I needed something. Um, and I actually had somebody go on a search for this one, um, Marshmallow Fireside. I think they had two left and they were in a drawer somewhere. I took the both of them because this is one of my favorite scents. You can see the candle over here. That's what that is, Marshmallow Fireside. And if you ever look at my blog, there's a little a little baby candle, and it's that one. And it smells delicious the entire time I'm taking blog pictures. So that's one of those. 
And I got my other free wrapped in this one. Oh, I smell potatoes. I also got this frosted cranberry. This smells so good. In front of most of these, they have like a small candle version for you to smell. Um, and this smells good. I hope they smell just like the candles. I would imagine they smell good. Here's the other marshmallow fireside. It's actually a good job for that little basket is holding those. And then I got leaves because um, one of the candles, one of the three wick candles that I had stashed away in my stuff for when I moved was leaves and I totally forgot about it. <laughs> it was like Christmas because I had two candles um, wrapped together. One was the leaves and one was, uh, I don't remember what I did with it. It's a red one and it's from cr for Christmas time. I don't remember what it is. It actually might be the frosted cranberry. I don't remember. But I showed that, the leaves one to him, and he smelled that, and he's like, oh, I like that one. So I, I made sure to get this. I was like, where's the leaves? I need that. I can't leave without the leaves. So we were on our way out of the mall, and my mom was like, is there anywhere else you wanted to go? And I was like, no, I don't think so. And then we were trying to remember where we came in, and I was like, we came in through Jay-Z Penny's, and I was like, oh, wait, let's leave through Barnes & Noble because I wanted to go in there because a few days ago, this book came out. And I don't know if you've read uh, the Magnolia story. I have. Is it over here? Yeah. It's over here in my, the white one right there, in my books. That book is so good. And if you love Fixer Upper, if you love um, the Gameses, you should read it. And I am, I, I'm so excited to read this. Because they did that book together. I think, well, I can't even say the majority of it is Joanna but there's like snippets from both of them talking about different stories and stuff and it, I just love it. I love it and Chip is just great so I'm so excited to read this. I'm yeah my mom bought this for me too because it was only 20% off and it says members save an extra 10%. I used to be a member but apparently it only lasts a year so um, I didn't get the extra 10%. And then I was almost tempted to just go to Walmart because sometimes they have them a little bit cheaper than that. Not, not to say that I wouldn't spend the full $25 on this book, but I was, I, my goal today was to spend the least amount of money possible, which my mom really helped with that because she kept just buying everything. But then she's like, let's just, I'll just get it for you now. So I got this. I can't wait to read it. I'm so excited. So when we got back into town, um, we had to go to, oh, excuse me, we had to go to our local mall because my brother ordered a desk and stuff, so my mom was picking it up, and I was looking over at Target, because Target's by our mall, I was like, how is it my birthday and I haven't gone to Target yet? How is that even possible? So we went to Target, mostly because I wanted to look in the dollar bins to see if they put Christmas stuff in there yet, because I want to start getting Christmas things, and I don't know about you, but I have a real, real good time decorating my place with the dollar bins at Target. They have the cutest things. And sometimes I feel like the stuff in the dollar bins is, should be cost more, whereas some of the stuff that's not in the dollar bins is so expensive and you're like, what? Sorry, I had some texts from the mothers. So let's get into this Target Madness because they actually didn't have Christmas stuff. That's where, where I was getting. They didn't have anything Christmassy. Am I in focus? Keep moving. Okay, so they didn't have Christmas stuff, but um, most of the stuff I've been buying from those bins was just like fall stuff. And I don't have any like Halloween specific decorations and they had some real cute Halloween stuff right now so that was the damage that had been done. Oh I also got a potato peeler but I used that just now so not going to show you that. So the first thing that I spotted over there which is really flippin adorable and it got scuffed a little bit um, was this totally cute little trick or treat sign. Can we just, it's glittery, it's got holographic writing. It's just so adorable. Look at that little pumpkin's face. He's so cute. I just, I couldn't. He's so adorable. And it's like, I don't like scary Halloween things. I like cute, fun Halloween things. And this says cute and fun to me. It does. He's gonna sit back there. Can you see him? Oh, you can. He's so adorable. Let's get him over a little bit. It, I got these lights. They had two options. 
one had spiders on it and I don't do anything with spiders unless it's like a super cute smiley friendly fluffy fuzzy spider type thing I don't do spiders so I got these ones which are jack-o-lanterns and they're like little wire lights and I want to put these in the front window and they're so adorable they're wire string lights with jack-o-lantern faces and I'm so excited they're so cute I don't know why I haven't been displaying all of the stuff it's just been a thing the last few bags one of the next things that I found I got really excited because oh okay this is a good example for you right now is um super duper cute I don't know where to put it yet but it matches it goes with that sign it says eek with the hollow and look at it. this is like the only kind of spider that I'm okay with because he's flippin adorable he's so so cute he doesn't have a mouth which appeals to me and he's just he's a little cute guy and he, he's got hollow on him and it's adorable eek is my mom's favorite thing she loves eek she that's like her favorite thing to say so I got him um, another thing I don't know what I'm gonna do with yet but they were cute and one of them there wasn't any left over I just think they're adorable oh um all three of those things were three dollars not all together individually they were three dollars um, and these each are one dollar and they're like heavy and they're cute little tombstones this one says happy Halloween and this one says nevermore and the writing is kind of like it's black glittery yeah I don't know what I'm gonna do with them but they're so cute most of the stuff I'm probably not gonna put up until it's really close to Halloween because I don't necessarily want Halloweeny decorations up all the time but I got those I really wanted to get a, a banner garland type thing I was looking through them and I left and came back and was looking again and I was like I don't love like any of them but then I was looking through this a couple of bins on the end that had some like random stuff in them and I found the cutest things so each of these were also three dollars it matches the stuff that I already found this one says happy Halloween and the letters have like the cute shapes and there's hollow so the A has a star this P has a bat this P has like a skull and crossbones and it looks like the O has a jack-o-lantern face oh my gosh I love it so much it's so cute and the colors are just adorable I just I couldn't I was like oh this one this one is coming home with me I'm in love with this and then underneath that one I found this one which also matches and it's like these what do you what do we call these um I'm not gonna be able to think of it sitting here in front of this camera I'm not gonna be able to think of what these are called Ugh, cameos are they called cameos this one's got like a cute little hollow waving skeleton I can't tell what's on that one. This one's got like a little green Dracula. Oh, let's see. The purple one is a sugar skull. This light pink one is a witch. And I think that's it. I think there's just the four characters. But it's so cute. It's so adorable. So I don't know what I'm going to do with both of these, but I have two. And I saw this underneath and I was like, I have to have both of these because they match and they're, they're amazing. I have to have them. Okay, so I got one last thing, and it wasn't from the dollar bins, because my mom's like, well, let's go look at the actual Halloween section and see if there's anything back there that you want, because I actually came back and got these after I found this, because I, I was thinking about which one I wanted, and I wasn't really sure, so she's like, let's go see if there's more somewhere else, so I got this, and this was actually not going to come home with me. I thought it was super cute. But I guess because it's fall and not Halloween, it wasn't on sale like most of the stuff back there was. I mean, it was only $7, but I was kind of hoping it would be on sale. And then I was like, eh, I don't know. And my mom's like, we're taking it. So it says pumpkins, apples, and hay rides. It's like a sky blue, kind of like a, a pumpkin-y orange and like an apple red. They're not like bright colors, they're so like fall versions, and it's it's super cute, and it's got this twine. It was only $7. My mom was like, I'll just get it for you. 
turns out she just paid for everything anyway, so <sighs> mom's on birthdays. So this is super cute. I need to find somewhere to put this because I love it. I love it and it really matches the fall decorations that I have, but yeah, it's not Halloween-y, but I'm going to find somewhere for this because it's adorable. Okay guys, that is it. That is everything that I got today. Um, I don't know if I will make a separate video of like what I got for my birthday. This is mu this is kind of like what I got for my birthday because yesterday I went to dinner with my dad and my stepmom and Josh and then tomorrow Josh's parents have a surprise for me. I don't know what it is. And today I hung out with my mom and bought a ton of stuff. So <laughs> this is basically what I got for my birthday other than you know like dinner and whatever we're doing tomorrow so if you guys like this video and you'd be interested in seeing me do it again next year give it a thumbs up I actually really enjoyed filming this because I had a really good time today and I was feeling a lot better because I've been super sick all week and I just love all of the things that I got and I'm so grateful and appreciative that my mom would pay for the majority of this stuff and we got cookies and lunch <laughs> If you're not subscribed, please take a minute and, or a second, it's not going to take you a whole minute, take a second and subscribe. I'd love to have you here and if you want to be notified the next time I post a video, make sure and you become a member of the notification squad and click the little button check mark thing below that gives you notifications when I post videos. I have another Halloween look that should be up here pretty soon, so stay tuned for that. I do plan to put up more, that's only going to be my second video, uh, my, my second Halloween look, so I do have plans to do more. Um, I'll do at least one more because there's one that I really bought specialty stuff for, so um, be on the lookout for that, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!